Hey guys, gals, and attack helicopters. Today I want to talk about my 300 hour milestone for the game, Elite Dangerous. So grab your Remlock suits and your dead horses to beat and come along for the ride. So hopping into my Sidewinder for the very first time, I was filled with bountiful joy as I was ready to go and explore and take on the galaxy. Until I looked down and seen how much gas I had, then I freaked out. But not to worry, the elite community had my back and helped me run cargo missions to get my rank up and get a much better ship. My next ship, I believe, was the uh, Cobra Mark III. Good and nearly everything for a ship of her size. The Cobra was my sweet forte into the bigger ships. I continued doing cargo missions from there on, ranking up my exploration and trade ranks as I flew about in my fancy new ships, doing old and frankly unprofitable rare trading circuits. This whole time, I have to give a huge thanks out to Commander Yamix. While he probably will never see this video, he should know that he is the one who helped me out in more ways than one. His reviews helped shape the player I am today and the dead horses I will get to beat. Fast forward nearly three months and here I am, elite in trade, trailblazer in exploration, and expert in combat. Oh, and well, we don't really talk about CQC. I'm also a cadet in the Federal Navy and a squire in the Imperial Navy. Most recently, I sold my Cobra, not because I wanted to, but because it was time to set my sights higher to the big three. Now, while Cutter and the Corvette are very distant dreams, I now have my Anaconda and I can't wait for what's to come. That said, I will be making a video talking about the things I hate in Elite Dangerous, as well as what I love in the game. But for a starter course into those videos, why don't I give you my top three things I have learned since beginning this game? Firstly, remember your basic rules. First, don't fly without rebuy. Next, don't be like Billy. And finally, don't forget your fuel scoop. I promise you, you will last a lot longer in space if you remember these things. If you just go out with out rebuy, you're asking for a bad time, especially if you are a combat pilot. Always check that you have enough to get your ass back to the station in one piece. Don't be like Billy is a reference to a meme created by the elite community regarding not flying without rebuy. Finally, don't forget, even if you don't want it, to grab a decent fuel scoop. If you do forget it for a long haul flight, you may be destined to call upon the fuel rats to save your ass. Oh, also, don't forget to buy all your parts from Lee Yong Roy, as he gives a global discount of 15% off on all ships and parts. Secondly, remember that sites outside of the game are your best friend. If you don't have all these sites bookmarked, you are losing so much information. First on that list is the Elite Dangerous Database. EDDB will show you everything that you need to know about your destination. Second on that list will definitely go to the Fuel Rats. One time I found myself without a fuel scoop and running low on fuel, gonna die, and wham! Fuel Rats saved my ass and got me back to my home planet. Third on the list will probably go to Erna. This site helps you log your progress as well as connect with other commanders. There's even an app for it now that helps you do all of the things automatically and it's called ED Market Connector. And finally is the Coriolis Shipyard. Leh. Hate that word. Coriolis is essentially the best way to find and buy all your ships as you get to fit all of your parts inside the browser and then when you're ready simply click on the dollar sign to see what station sells the build you have. My third and final tip 
for all newcomers into this game is don't be afraid to try new things. I know it sounds cheesy, but I promise that if you are completely open-minded, you will not regret being completely open-minded. There isn't a lot to do, honestly, in Elite Dangerous, as far as things to do are considered. Your options are trading, passenger missions, mission missions such as data traversal missions and running into planets, pew pew missions as well as bounty hunting and xeno hunting which are the alien race in the game. Anyway, uh, you also have mining, power play, exploration, and of course grinding away at your life because this game makes you go king insane trying to get farther as you are more than willing to try different things you will be much happier with yourself and your time in elite dangerous because of it well holy crap i made this video as awesome as i could but only time will tell I'm uploading it to YouTube in hopes that I'll be featured on Prestige's Keys channel, and, well, here's to hoping. If I'm featured, then, hello everyone! Thank you to Ryan for his awesome content and letting us small creators try to get out of our little bubble. If I wasn't featured, well, no hard feelings. This video was in the works for a while. Believe it or not, I have always wanted to do Elite Dangerous stuff, but just never made the leap. So here's to a million more hours and whatever may come next. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to wear your space seatbelts.